Hi and welcome to another segment of Chat with Nat. So last week we had all the soppy stuff with Lauren. Now it's back to normal and this week I'm chatting with none other than Ramelda Aiken. Diddy, how are you? Good, how are you? Very good, thank you. So it's Easter at the moment. What do you like about Easter? Um, Easter in Australia is pretty much different compared to what we have back home. Yeah. We've got like, we go to church as everyone else and we have bun and cheese and... Bun and cheese? Yes. Like, so like you... hot crust bun and cheese. With cheese? Yes. Is, that, is it better than butter? It is. It is? Yes. <laughs> and then, so do you have like a Easter egg hunt and that sort of thing or...? Um, um, strictly going to church, back home, have a quiet day, and yeah, have some bun and cheese. Yeah. So is it times like this, and I guess, um, or these sorts of things that you would normally do with your family that make you miss being back home in Jamaica, or are you glad to mix it up, spend it in Australia? Yeah, mix it up. <laughs> yeah, it's, I don't know, yeah, it's a bit different, Yeah, but yeah, I'm enjoying a little bit. So does that mean now that you're in Australia, you're going to get with your Aussie tradition and have an Easter egg hunt and stuff your face with chocolate on Sunday? I've been doing that since yesterday. <laughs> nice. Yeah, but yeah, I'm, I have to lay off the chocolate for a little bit because it's not good for me. So We'll have carry on to us, won't we? Doing the skin pop. <laughs> so. yeah, definitely keep that on the DL. <laughs> This season, and I guess with all seasons that you've been playing with Queensland, there's been a lot of changes with your hair. Your hairstyles change quite frequently, probably about every game. Is there something to it? You must spend a lot of money Actually, on getting your hair changed, or have you got a good deal with someone? <laughs> got a good deal. Let's keep it at that. No, um, I really like doing my hair. I like seeing like, really good fashion hair. Yeah. Like that. Really enjoy going to the hairdresser, seeing their vlogs like six hours a day. Just, <laughs> just <laughs> you enjoy that? Yeah, because I'm not doing anything else for the rest of the day. So yeah, just enjoy going to hairdresser, getting you know, different hairdos here and there. Is there anything maybe you could give our viewers a bit of an insight into what we could be seeing coming into finals? Have you got any? Is it going to be a big unveiling, or are you going to play it pretty? Something a bit more stock standard. Um, we'll just wait until finals, see what happens. See what happens, see what you come up with. Maybe curly, maybe straight. Have a big like free and have it out. Oh. Get, the defenders won't be able to see. They'll just be. <laughs> I'd get a big one so it sits like all the way out there. Yeah, and then they, they'd get. But they'd I be might, too busy going like this. I might need something to like clip it so I can hold it down so when I do my dodge it doesn't go off. <laughs> <laughs> when you do your dodges, yeah. The odd couple that you do. Yeah. yeah. You've also got a boyfriend here. Yeah. Joel, lovely, lovely Joel. How's all that going with you, going with you guys? Yeah, it's been pretty good. Been together for like two years now, which is good. And um, where did you meet Joel? Well, uh, yeah, on Facebook. On Facebook. But where did you tell the girls you met him? On Facebook. Didn't you tell the girls you met him at KFC? No. Um, <laughs> I, I think it was. I don't remember who it was, and they were asking me about Joel's family, and I was like. Yeah, his brother works at KFC. Oh, and then everyone Lawrence. started saying, Joel will work at KFC. I'm like, no, he works at Ridges. <laughs> oh, but so, and he hasn't been able to get over to Jamaica, has he? No, because he's working pretty busy. So now that you've got this relationship with Joel, does that mean you are intending on hanging around in Queensland maybe a little bit longer? Could be possible. Could be possible. Would you like to live here permanently? Could be possible. Ah, yeah, I'm, I'm sure like I quite, like to hear that. I quite enjoy here in New Zealand and I like like going away from my home country but yeah like going back to Jamaica but I do like it here. Yeah. Nice. Now when I went over to Jamaica, I cannot believe, um, like at your games, how much the crowd gets into it and there's so much music and you get all the little kids dancing and it's awesome to watch. So I guess, 
do you have much rhythm about you? Do you like to have a bit of a, a dance? Because you know what a great dancer I am. Yes. You've seen yes. my moves. Yes. 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 So, I've seen it. Yeah. <laughs> so, but do you, what do you think of your own dancing style? Um, as good as mine? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> it is way better than yours. Um, <laughs> we'd all like to write our own reviews, wouldn't we? Continue. Yeah, me and Claire, we sort of have a, um, a bit of a little dance off every now and then, and we've got and we've got um, now a little dance we're going to um, present at some stage. So I hope. Are you going to want our viewers to see this dance routine? Because I can get this recorder out and record it when you do your performance yeah. and show it to the world. The dancing skills of Claire and Diddy. It's a bit of a big deal, so you might, you might <laughs> want to get yeah, the recording camera out. All right, so if I'm, I'll get up on YouTube and the number of hits, it'll just go worldwide, I reckon. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Because last year you did a routine and... to back up from what you did last year, what most of the girls saw? Not really. Um, you know, it's just like taking it, like, just coming to training, you know, just getting a few moves together. Yeah. Every now and then we switch it up. Yeah. But, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a big deal, so we'll just wait and see. <laughs> I don't want to give too much. The pressure's on, you know, with saying this. Yeah. It's a, it's a big deal. Yeah. Are we going? Diddy, thank you for coming and having a chat with me um, after our seven o'clock training session on Easter Saturday. It's a great way to spend Easter. Um, to everybody back home, have a very safe and happy Easter. Stock up on the Easter eggs, and not too much. Not too much, in the words of Diddy, but enough to keep you satisfied. Yeah, whatever you think your quota is. And we will see you next week with another segment of chat with Nat.